You know, by the looks of this, this train couldn't even stand on its own, never mind having its speed across miles of railways. But through a magical piece of engineering, the Brennan monorail was speedy, reliable, and could maintain its stability through curves, even better than a regular train. The idea popped up back in the early 20th century, thanks to Louis Brennan, an inventor. He patented the system and then built a custom railway to showcase this weird contraption. It worked perfectly, even though it looked like it defied the laws of physics. But this version of the monorail never became a commercial success. Let's look at how this machine works. The monorail managed to balance itself in a seemingly impossible position, all thanks to a gyroscope. Now, when you were little, you may have played with one of those tiny spinning tops. A gyroscope is a pretty similar behavior. When the spinning top rotates, it creates something called angular momentum. Even if you try to turn it or tilt it, it will resist, trying to stay in its original position. These days, we use gyroscopes in many devices, like phones. In these little devices, sensors detect any movement or tilt. So when you turn your phone, the gyroscope helps the device know you're not pointing in the same direction anymore. This information helps the phone's software figure out the new orientation, allowing it to adjust the screen like when you switch from portrait to landscape mode. At the heart of the Brennan monorail was a similar gyroscopic stabilization system. Two gyroscopes were mounted on a platform between the two main wheels of the train, each spinning in opposite directions from each other. If the train encountered a slight tilt to one side due to uneven territory or external forces, the gyroscopes would sense this and generate a force opposing the tilt. This pushed the train back into an upright position. The train adjusted itself along the way, but people on board wouldn't have sensed this. It was so stable that even if all the passengers on the wagon stood on one side, the train would still maintain its posture. The train conductor also didn't have to do any maneuvers for the train to stay up properly on the track. The Brennan monorail also had an interesting propulsion system, which you might have also seen in toys. Remember those tiny cars you'd push back only for them to spring out of your hand once you let go? At the station, workers did something similar. They manually wind up the train springs, storing potential energy in the process. The key innovation was the controlled release of this stored energy. As the train set off, the unwinding springs turned a system of levers and gears, converting the energy to propel the train forward. Even though monorails claimed to be cheaper to make, faster, lighter, and more stable when turning corners, they were never mass-produced. That's because authorities at the time were concerned about the potential malfunction of these gyroscopes. They couldn't just place one in the locomotive. All the wagons would need to be equipped with a gyroscope. And if they failed, the train would soon lose its stability. Monorails did come equipped with some stabilizing legs, but investors were worried they wouldn't activate in time once the gyroscope stopped working. Monorails haven't disappeared. They exist these days, but in different forms like this upside-down one from Germany. It doesn't transport its passengers with their legs hanging above their heads, it simply glides on a hanging railway. Its track is suspended from pylons, zooming over busy streets, rivers, and whatever might be an obstacle to a standard train. If you add in the beautiful views from up there, it becomes a pretty unique ride. This German train dates back to the 1880s and came as a solution to a challenging problem. The city was facing many transport problems because of its booming textile industry. Traditional rail or tramways weren't an option because the city was near a river valley, which made the terrain difficult to navigate or construct railways on. One of his passengers made history in the 1950s, a chubby creature named Tuffy the Elephant. A minor celebrity in its own right at the time, the elephant hopped on the train promotional ride. Things took a funny turn when Tuffy, feeling a bit crowded, trampled some seats, escaped the train, and took a dive into the river below. Fortunately, the water was shallow and Tuffy wasn't hurt. Safety-wise, this train has been amazing. Until 1999, it was considered the safest public transport method in Germany, with minimal accidents in almost a century. It had its share of ups and downs, including a nine-month hiatus in 2018 after a power cable crashed onto the street. In South Korea, there's an interesting monorail that seems to be climbing steps. The Samong Stairs, or the Stairs of Wishes, are a beautiful set of 192 steps in Seo District, Busan. 
In 2022, locals decided it was time to add a monorail to help people move around more easily. It was an important addition for the people in the neighborhood, as seniors make up a good 30% of its population. The monorail stretches over about 300 feet, taking about 6 minutes to cross over once you board the small train. Going by foot shouldn't be avoided, though, as each step of the staircase is a canvas, decked out with lively mosaics and eye-catching illustrations. When the monorail reaches the top, it offers tourists a panoramic view of the city. Investors also gave two-wheel cars a shot at some point in history. Starting in the 1950s, many forward thinkers thought of ways to produce gyro cars. These prototypes had some cool features, but in the end, the bad took over. These machines looked like hulking motorcycles, but could seat two or four people. Inside, they had gyroscopes just as stable as the monorails. They claim you could damage the body of the car and the frame would still be standing. Even hopping in and out didn't mess with its stability. But they had their flaws. Take Ford's 1961 Gyron. You couldn't have driven it at a very high speed, and it was very expensive to build. The car was made as more of a research project and wasn't intended to be mass-produced. What's sad is that the original prototype perished in a fire in 1962. When one of these gyro cars stopped, the driver would hit a button and little side wheels or kickstand-like parts popped out to keep it upright. For other gyro models, the downside was that it took up to three minutes for it to hit top speed. Ooh. You couldn't just jump in, turn the key, and go. Plus, the turning radius was like trying to do a U-turn with a cruise ship. Unlike motorcycles, these things didn't lean into turns, and at high speeds, they were pretty wobbly. The aerotrain also introduced a revolutionary concept in transportation. This one was supposed to glide through a combination of air cushion technology and magnetic propulsion. The fundamental principle was to eliminate the friction that conventional wheels create. Instead of wheels, it relied on a cushion of air for levitation. An engine mounted at the rear of the train propelled air into a U-shaped channel on the track, creating the necessary lift. This innovation design also meant less energy consumption and more speed. But one of its downsides was the cost of constructing dedicated tracks. The unique U-shaped channel and magnetic guidance system required specialized infrastructure, making it expensive to implement on a large scale. Traditional trains could use all existing rail networks. Creating those air cushions meant that the train would always be making a lot of noise. So they had to make sure it would never run at high speeds in cities, for instance. The floating train also faced competition from other high-speed transportation projects, such as the development of high-speed trains like the TGV in France. A means of transportation that could float in mid-air would have also been a big change for people. So investors were afraid they wouldn't rely on something so unfamiliar. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.